uh, for mayor. So, and Zach will be running. I think. What is it, councilor or mayor? Is that? What, neither, what, have you decided neither. yet? Neither. Okay. I have decided, and it will be neither. Oh, I see. Okay, <laughs> that's great. Well, not that I'm against, you know, yeah. um, running or being involved in politics. I find there's a lot of lawyers go into politics. Maybe yeah. that's just nature of the job. Not sure. Um, something like a real estate agent going into investing. It's like yeah. they, they kind of go together. Yeah. Like if you're a professional of the law, it makes sense that you would become a politician in a for way. Sure. Um, Making policies and... But yeah, just for me, yeah. um, I think the way that we think, well, you know the way that I think, it's not very political. I don't. Uh, I don't like to be conniving. Yeah, I think... Yeah. I like to be very open, and uh, politics is kind of a tricky game. It is, yeah. They're... Like, even if you have good intentions, you kind mm-hmm. of have to do it, you kind of have to go about your goals in a sneaky way sometimes. What they well, call it, Machiavellian? Yeah, well, yeah, and there's, there's again, right, politics is a whole thing because you don't just do the right thing or what should be done or whatever because there's other factors in in uh, in play here. There's no absolutism. We'll just yeah. take one thing, for example. The fact that this money could have been issued four years ago for the child care supplement or whatever to, to help mm-hmm. Ontarians. Mm-hmm. But possibly, and I'm saying it could be, and it's not out of the realm of possibility that a politician could hold back when they're going to deliver that money and wait just for the specific time so that way it's beneficial for them if they deliver it just before the election. And, and it's it's like, wow, look, at I just did this really great thing for you. Oh, and you're going to the polls. You're going to remember that in recent memory. So, that, again, that's a political thing. It, it diverts what's needed at the time for a, a purpose, for a political purpose, right? Mm-hmm. And you would hope things like that don't happen and people have integrity and they wouldn't do things like that. However, living in the real world, Things like that do happen, and you got to take the good with the bad, the yin mm-hmm. with the yang. Mm-hmm. So yeah, my point is, you know, in politics, if you're thinking about going into politics, just examine yourself and be self-aware and think. Yeah, am I the type of person that is willing yeah. to give something up to get what's you know what I really want? Mm-hmm. And if you're the type of person like me, kind of sees the world more in terms of a moral black and white. Mm-hmm. You know, these are the things I'm willing to do. Yeah. These are the things I'm not willing to do. And I'm not willing to give up X or Y. It might not be the right career for you. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think a lot of people have been disheartened who got into politics just wanting Absolutely. to do good. And then found out, wow, politics is politics. It's, uh, yeah, it's disenchanted. Whole, yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's. I would love to help uh, who I think is a good candidate get there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd love to be part of. Uh, camp. I've personally never been part of a campaign, just with my education, and um, I'm very competitive. And I think business, in a way, is kind of politics um, in its own way. And I love business, um, so it'd be fun to work on it in that capacity. But yeah, I just I can't see myself being uh, being the star of the show. Well, you've heard it here first. Zach said he's willing to uh, help out whatever politician is running. So. We'll put up his cell phone number right at the end of the show. If I agree with you enough, yeah, I'll help you out any way I can. 